welcome to our very first HSJ Workforce Forum. We've launched the Workforce Forum off the back of the fact that Workforce has rocketed up the national and local agenda for NHS leaders of all flavours over the last one to two years. The issue of retaining staff has absolutely dominated today, or perhaps because the NHS and NHS leaders are keen to work on that area which involves looking after our current staff better and developing them and trying to bring them into other areas. Or if we can lift the culture and working life experience for those people, then it should over time attract more people in as well. 20% of our workforce are from black and ethnic minority backgrounds, 40% of our doctors and 20% of our nurses. If that group of people who usually have hands-on patients don't feel that they are valued and appreciated, then we cannot deliver on higher quality patient care for everybody. You need people to think that you are worthy of actually moving on and going up the ladder. And unless the NHS gets to grips with that, we're not going to be able to deliver on the long-term plan and the people plan. Quite often when we model a workforce, we tend to look at what it is in terms of assets. So how it manages risk, for example. Healthcare is high harm, high risk. And really we need to think about what a workforce can offer in terms of managing that risk. We look after 55 trusts. So we see the good, the bad and the ugly. But there's some real pockets of absolute brilliance that this is a really good platform to share some of those things. This is about authentic leadership, flat hierarchies, understanding the context that people come from and supporting them. There is a tendency across the system that when the system is under pressure to move much more towards command and control, what that does is it starts stifles creativity, it doesn't engender psychological safety and you do not get the best out of your staff. When you're looking at workforce shortages and thinking about both recruit and retention, you have to have a very flexible approach to that. You need to be able to understand what your real problems are and tailor your solutions. Right down into the different teams and wards, the solutions are different. So make sure that actually you spend your time doing your research, use your data and talk to your staff. Equality, diversity and inclusion offers an appreciative way of thinking about the assets that we have and we're not tapping that resource and it's a wonderful opportunity. The people who attend HSJ events tend to be interested in new ways of thinking, innovative methods of delivery and looking at the problem from a much wider perspective. That way you can start to have conversations with people about finding new solutions to what are traditionally very old problems. In aviation, it's safety. In the NHS, it's patient safety. But I argue, should it be safety for all? You can only have patient safety if your employees feel safe, your patients feel safe. And if we can create a safer environment for employees, that in turn will help build a stronger workforce moving forward and improve the well-being of that workforce. There are some really good employers out there doing some really great things with Workforce and it's a great opportunity to share and learn. You're listening, you're participating. If we all put our collective parts together, we'll find the correct solutions. By working individually, you don't get to that point. So I think that's the power of coming together for a day.